Hi, and welcome to Ultrasound Review. On this channel, we'll be discussing all things related to ultrasound. Hi, my name is Jeff Rubinoff with Complete Medical Services. I've been in this industry for over 20 years. Uh, our company is a leading provider of diagnostic imaging equipment to include DEXA, C-arm, ultrasound, x-ray, and other uh, imaging modalities. Uh, on this channel, we're going to focus strictly on ultrasound equipment. Um, today we're going to be discussing the Minery M7, which I have here um, in front of us right now. Um, this is one of the transducers, which we'll be using in one second to fire up the system. I just want to show you uh, how easy it is to, to uh, get the system set up. But first we're going to look at the uh, specs of the, the Minery M7. And the, this is a great uh, portable ultrasound system uh, with very good um, monitor, a very good monitor size. Um, this is a 15 inch um, high resolution monitor. Before we get into the full specs, I did want to mention that the Minray M7 actually comes in two different versions. There's the standard and there's the advanced. The advanced is fully shared service to include cardiac. The standard is all general imaging except for cardiac. Um, so getting back into the specs, uh, being portable, good image quality, a 15 inch high resolution monitor, which I had mentioned. Um, it has internally a 320 gig hard drive, which is plenty of room uh, for, storing your, uh, for storing your studies. Um, it is using a Windows 7 embedded software environment, which is fantastic. It also helps considerably from a diagnostic perspective, but also from an image storage perspective. So it has DICOM and DICOM HL7, but it also allows you to store your images very easily in a JPEG or a BMP format, or if you need to uh, store your CNA files um, outside of DICOM, and you can store them as an AVI, which can then be played on any computer very easily. You can transfer them with a thumb drive. Um, there are also five user-defined uh, uh, buttons, um, actually six, sorry, six user-defined buttons, plus the print button can be um, also can be changed to uh, a user-defined uh, option. Um, but the presets uh, for the user-defined customization, F1, F2, F3, F4, um, and then we have F5 over here and F6 over here. So this gives you a lot of customizable options from a user perspective. Um, it is loaded with all the key uh, uh, software optimization that you need, like spatial compounding, um, uh, speckle reduction, tissue harmonic imaging. Um, from a workflow, the system is very, very easy to use, very easy to learn, it's very intuitive. Um, all of the buttons are laid out in a very, uh, a very nice way. Uh, let, me, let me plug this in while we're talking. So I'm gonna put the probe into the backside of the system and, and fire it up. So you can see um, we're not uh, plugged in right now. But as I power this up, you're gonna notice that the uh, keys illuminate very, very nicely. So if you look in the smaller image, there might be too much light uh, on, the, on our main camera to where you might not see the, uh, the illumination of the keys, but it's very, very bright. The trackball is illuminated also very brightly. There you can see it glowing. It's really, it's amazing. So um, let's get into here. Um, we don't have a a password or anything. So I'm just gonna hit set and it's gonna bring us right to our main menu, which is uh, very easy to get to. So now, from a user perspective, when you're getting ready to set up the study, the first thing you always wanna do is enter the patient, right? So you have the patient button right here. So you click on the patient button and it allows you to enter all the patient data. Then we can go down into the exam. When you hit exam, it brings up the probe um, as well as all of the different uh, possible uh, presets uh, that are associated with a linear transducer. In this case, it's a linear transducer. All of these are customizable, um, and you can also uh, add or subtract presets to meet what your specific needs are. So if all you're doing is vascular, you get rid of anything that's not vascular related. So then we can get into a review mode, um, and then we have end exam mode. Uh, when we're in the study and we're using the uh, and we're using the ultrasound to do scanning, um, typically the sonographer is going to be focused the majority of the time in this area of the ultrasound. Obviously, you have your keys; you can annotate. Um, but while you're using it, you might want to change your 
your cursor so that you'll have your cursor uh, visible. Um, you have your set button, so if you need to adjust or move or you know your, your double click, um, your B mode, dual, power Doppler, color, CW, M, PW, and here's your F6 for a user defined button over here. Here's your freeze button. Um, so everything is, is very easily accessible. Everything's labeled. So if you never use this ultrasound before and you said, how do I use it? Uh, when you're looking at the, uh, at the layout, you can very quickly and intuitively um, use this ultrasound. So you have your soft keys up here, which again are also very easy to adjust and to use. Overall, the M7 is a great budget ultrasound. It provides good image quality for the price point. It also includes a five-year warranty, which is fantastic. Um, the warranty covers um, all software updates, will cover the transducers, and will also cover the parts and the labor uh, for, the, uh, for the ultrasound. So thank you for joining me today. It was definitely a pleasure. Please tune in for our next uh, episode of Ultrasound Review. And remember to hit the subscribe button. And then after you subscribe, smash the bell so that you receive notification uh, every time we upload a brand new video. So thank you again, and we'll see you next time.